in the previous video we have added our player character as you can see now before adding the player controls we want the main camera to follow the player around the environment and once we have the main camera controllers then we will be able to add the player controllers so for the main camera what we will do right here in the assets folder let's go ahead and create a new folder by the name of scripts and then in here we will create another folder by the name of camera controller scripts then inside this folder we will create a new C sharp file by the name of main camera controller or you can name this whatever you want now if you click on our main camera let's go ahead and attach this script okay here it is now let's just open this up in the visual studio code or whatever text editor you are using currently I am using the visual studio code so if now I double click on this it will open up inside the visual studio code and then right here I will remove the start and update functions from there and right here at the top we need a reference to the target which our main camera will follow so we will say public this will be a transform and let's name this as target then after this we will create another variable which will be a public float let's name this as cap and by default this will be equals to 3f then down below we will create a update function and in here we will say transform dot position this transform dot position will be the position of our main camera game object since this main camera controller is attached to our main camera game object so it will be equals to the target dot position minus the gap by which we want the main camera to be behind so we will say new vector 3 in this vector 3 for the x we will pass 0 for the y we will pass 0 as well and then for the z we will pass the gap variable that is it now if we save this and get back to unity now if we click on our main camera right here it requires the target so the target will be the player we will drag and drop the player in there and as you can see the cap is already assigned which is 3 you can change this value according to your own game and now before playing the game we will move the player right here in the middle of this road and then let's go ahead and play the game and now as you can see the main camera is following the player now if you try to increase this value the main camera will move further away from the player as you can see and when we start decreasing it it will move closer to the player okay so let's just leave it as 3 and since our main camera is following the player now we want to add the other controllers for example rotating the camera and also to move this main camera above from the ground as you can see so with this done let's end this video right here